our colleagues in Kiev, in Kiev the uh, IRC, some of them are on the run, some of them are hiding. Uh, our colleagues in Kharkiv um, and Nikop Nikopol, they are all um, hiding in the villages. Our colleagues in Dnipro, they are trying to evacuate their staff and help those in need. So uh, um, primarily what we at GCRT are doing, we are um, monitoring the situation of our colleagues uh, and asking them if there's any way we can be of uh, support and providing moral support, which um, is something that is highly appreciated. Uh, we also work with, uh, in the context of Georgian Society of Psychotrauma, which is now uh, hosted by GCRT, uh, because I'm the chair, we're providing webinars for Ukrainian mental health professionals, because apart from a big number of refugees coming uh, uh, to the EU, there's even bigger uh, internal displacement. There, is, uh, there are millions displaced to Western Ukraine. So um, for instance, on Saturday, we had about 120 people attending a two hour webinar. So I just want to emphasize that people there, um, they want to help, they want to use their profession in the service of helping uh, the communities. We are hearing very bad, um, Facts coming from those cities that are um, uh, under siege, Mariupol, for instance, rape, torture, killing. Uh, and that's in, also a humanitarian catastrophe there. Yesterday, a child died of dehydration. Um, the city doesn't have anything. Uh, we are here, and we also have the knowledge that uh, unfortunately, the worst is yet to come in terms of the civilian casualties, in terms of the um, torture, in terms of. Um, yeah, actions that Russian soldiers uh, will do. And for instance, from our perspective, we have a very personal experience and very intimate knowledge uh, of what Russian army is capable of.